Good morning and welcome to Mary Mixer Design Studio. This is part two of adding and editing shapes. So on my screen here I've shown the different shapes that are available in Memory Mixer. Squares, rectangles, circles, think bubbles, hearts, stars, diamonds. All of these shapes can be resized or skew depending on what you're looking for. To change the size simply click on them and then just grab one of these little handles around the outside edge. If I grab from the sides or top and bottom, it will skew the shape. If I, I'll just undo that. If I grab from the corners, it will keep it proportional. So that's why we say this is a square or rectangle because you can skew it or keep it proportional and make it keep it square. And the same thing applies with your circles. All shapes will resize perfectly. Some shapes work better for others in skewing. Like the star here, I could skew it. Let me delete this little. I could skew it, and to a certain point, you might like how it's skewed, and it doesn't have the same effect that you were wanting. Let me just click here to the next page. I put three hearts on this. And let me just show you how you can skew them to give them a different. We'll leave this one the same, but this one maybe I'll make a little. Whoop, grab that handle, and I'll just make it a little taller. And then this one, maybe I'll make it a little wider. Then you can recolor them using the color tools over here. Here's an example of what you might be able to do with using just shapes. Then some shapes actually have more editing capabilities, like the star, the polygon, and the picture frame. So let me show you a little bit of what I mean. Click on the shape, then you'll come down here to the Edit button, and now you can see it can change how many star points there are as well as the star depth. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. Maybe that's a sun. Maybe it's a winning ribbon. Okay, the polygon, same thing. I can come over here, click on edit, and then I can change how many sides there are. And then the picture frame is probably one of my favorite shapes. To edit it, simply click on the edit button again. But now you can change how thick your frame is. So let me show you a page that we have made with using that. So I just love this. This is um, Sweet Summer by Melissa Nuttall. But I've added this frame here with my shapes. So I click on it and you see my shape window opens. I come here to edit. Let me drag this over here so you can see it. Now I can just simply drag this here and you can see the thickness, how it changes. And then you can decide what the thickness is that you want. We've been talking a lot about shapes, and I've created some artwork that I just want to share with you. And it's also a freebie in the Memory Mixer shop, so make sure you download it so you can study and um, use some of the images if you want. So here we have this whole scene is created just using shapes and Memory Mixer. So if I come here to the sun, you can see this was a star that I changed. Um, the number of points and the depth of the points. I just add a circle with a different color to give it a little more dimension. The clouds are just circles or ovals. And then on this one, I added a rectangle just to um, give it a flat surface there on the bottom. Um, the trees are circles. The trunks here are triangles that I just made really narrow. This little bird here is mostly circles and triangles. And the wings are actually made out of three separate ovals to give it the feathered look, if you will. Then if we come here, I've made some shapes. I've used shapes to create flowers or Easter eggs. And here's even a little Halloween scene, um, just using different shapes. So you can see you can have a lot of fun with the shapes and just let your imagination go. Have fun and make sure you visit the rest of our tutorials. Or if you have any questions, email us at info at We'll see you next time.